So we're going to go into what Drake has to say about Taryn. And Taryn was somebody who wrote a letter, you know, in defense of Brian Peck, protecting Brian Peck. And I want, I can't really stress this enough, is that from my knowledge, still no one has given a personal apology to Drake Bell. So this is Taryn. Um, you might know him from SNL and Mad TV. He also worked with Drake Bell on, I think it was Drake and Josh. So Drake Bell said, I also gave him as a gift. Sorry. Just sad. Okay. I also gave him as a gift a cardboard cutout of Princess Leia. Because he was obsessed with Star Wars. And I worked with Carrie Fisher. So I got it signed for him. And People Magazine, when he first got on SNL, I think People Magazine did a spread on the new cast and said, bring your favorite thing from home. And he got a picture with it in the magazine and told the story of how I got it for him. And he still wrote the letter. We were friends, I thought. I mean, is that not heartbreaking, though? I think that's pretty heartbreaking. I think that rings very true to a lot of survivors out there where we thought people were our friends and that they cared about us. And then when we come forward about what happened to us or our trauma, we see they're not necessarily our friends. And it's really sad. It's really, really sad. And, and the reason why I'm sharing this today, I got approval to share, but the reason why I think this is very important is because so many people are a survivor's friend. And it can be really re-traumatizing when the survivor's friend doesn't support them. And survivors deserve better friends. They deserve better friends. When he told me that I was triggered because my experience is different than his, right? But I've been in similar situations where I've seen friends of mine defend the person who has harmed me. And it's just one of the worst feelings in the world. It really, really is. It really, really is. And it can be deeply re-traumatizing for, you know, the victim. And from my knowledge, Taryn, I hope someone sends this video also to you. I feel like I'm always talking to some people that are not listening at all. Taryn, I've also heard that you haven't apologized personally yet. I'll give you that grace, yet. But I really hope that you do because look what a good friend Drake Bell was to you. He knew that you liked Star Wars and he worked with Carrie Fisher and got it signed for you and gave it to you. And you even said it was one of your favorite things. Be better. Be a better friend. Not even just as survivors. Just be a better friend. And I think that you beyond owe him a personal apology. And I hope that it is in letter form. I keep saying handwritten because that's, what I, that's how I want to see it. That's how I want to see it. I hope it's handwritten. I hope it's genuine. I hope you make no excuses when it comes to your apology. And if you are lucky, your past good friend will forgive you, if you're lucky, right? But that's all you can do for now, is do the right thing and send an apology um, to him. I mean, isn't this kind of wild, though, to see this all, like, playing out? You know, there's so many survivors out there that their stories don't ever get necessarily heard, right? Like, they're not blasted on, a, you know, a website, <laughs> right? And to have this so mainstream and yet still no one's apologizing is bizarre to me. It's really, really strange. It can also make a lot of survivors out there, I think, feel like, 
well, whoa, if they're not, you know, apologizing, like, do I even matter? You know, this is very re-traumatizing for every survivor out there. So Taryn, you need to set an example also to survivors everywhere um, that when someone isn't a true ally or a good friend to a survivor, that they take accountability and they go to the survivor and apologize genuinely because we need to see more of that and less of your letter. We don't deserve that. <laughs> no one deserves that. No one deserves that. And yeah, let's not victim blame. And a lot of those letters were full of victim blaming when it came to a child. I mean, a child, literally a child. And there were so many, there were a few people that said it would be like a pleasure to work with this person again, even going out of their way to say that this person is a professional. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, professional? You mean like criminal? It's just so sad. It just makes me really upset. Because this has been a reality for so, like, there's so many good friends out there that are survivors. And they deserve to have good friends, too. Okay, so this letter, these letters were written. Horrific. So bad. Beyond terrible. I've said enough about it, right? Now we're here in the present day and no apology. Man. Woo! That's like... Wow, be better, survivors deserve better. They deserve better. This is what comes along sadly with being a survivor is not just what happened to you, but how the community treats you afterwards when you come forward, but also who defends the person who did something horrible to you. And I think, yes, this is obviously happening within Hollywood, but I think this is happening everywhere. And that is why we need more allies. We really, really do. Survivors deserve more allies out there. Ones that actually put it into action, that don't necessarily even just care about it when it's trending or, you know what I mean? We, we, we wanna see some action. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit before we go into everything because you know again Nickelodeon all these corporations love to talk about being trauma being like 10 years ago five years ago whatever this is still very much present day for every survivor out there we don't need anyone to remind us how many years ago it was we know and we're living with it every day thank you very much and not only just that we have people present day you know, still not supporting us, apologizing, et cetera, and we deserve better.